Lynn, thank you very much. An Okeechobee family is being run out of their home by rats. The family has nowhere to go and no money to move. We are covering Okeechobee County with the largest news team on the Treasure Coast. News Channel 5's Carolyn Schofield has the family's story and how you can help. Eric and Crystal Bailey thought this home would be the answer to their prayers. They needed a bigger place for their three children immediately, so they moved into the mobile home sight unseen. Then their dog started going crazy at night, and the Baileys spotted a rat. At first, we see one here and there, and now you see him in groups. Now the family is moving out as fast as they can. A building inspector checked out the mobile home Monday and declared it unsafe. The Baileys don't have anywhere to go, and even if they had a place, they don't have the money to move. I kind of feel like a bad mom because I got my kids living here. This is what I could afford. The family certainly doesn't feel safe staying here. Crystal snapped a picture one night. Her husband threw a cage at a large rat, and it dropped this baby on the floor. There are several holes in the kitchen they come through, and the critters seem to be building a nest under the stove. I don't put my girls down with milk in their sippy cups um, because I've read that milk attracts the rats. And I don't want them getting bit. That's not their only concern. The couple keeps the laundry room locked at night because of electrical issues. The breaker box, it's just kind of dangling off in the wall. It's not even really fastened. As you can see, I mean, you can just totally... The Bailey's landlord says she didn't know about the rats or electrical problems before the family moved in. She will return their security deposit, she says, but not until they move out. That leaves the family with little money to start over. Two organizations, Lamb of God Ministries and the Salvation Army, are helping the Baileys and other families in need. If you'd like to help, go to the Okeechobee page of WPTV.com. Carolyn Schofield, WPTV News Channel 5.